This is an inspection video on a 2020 Ford F-250. We're gonna go all around it. It is a 6.7 power stroke diesel. Uh, real pretty silver, which is can be hard to find in regular cabs because uh, a lot of times they pretty much seem to only come in white. Um, so I say you can have a work truck and it doesn't always have to be white. Uh, so let's go up here, real pretty super duty. Has not been used, not a demo vehicle or anything like that. So it's a brand new vehicle, it's sitting on the lot. Has the, I like that chrome feature there across the front, really makes it look nice. Nice big head lights that they've done. Uh, they did change the front end of the Ford uh, for the 2020, so it does look different than the 19s. Uh, so we got a nice, good sized tire on these two. Um, this one here is sitting on, trying to find my thing. Uh, 22s. Man, that's a good size tire. So we got 22s. It does have the step. You can get in there, no problem. These trucks now, they're so high um, that you really just need to have a step bar. Um, and you tear the seat up almost, just trying to get in there all the time. So it is diesel, so it does have your, your death feel there. You do it about every time you do it, oil change. Nice size aggressive tire there, four by four. I love that it has that inset too in your hitch so you can use, you can take that out and do the other one as well. It does have the locking tailgate and there's, a, there's three cameras in here. Uh, you've got the camera that's up here, one that actually points down on your hitch. Um, and then you also have that one back there, which is, when I get inside, I will show you how that works. Let me unlock this again. Set that down. Um, like I said, this is a, the fifth wheel prep package, so you can just drop your uh, hitch in there and you're good to go. Has it right here. I love that they started putting those because if, if you don't, when you have this, you got to run that wire over the cross or run it through here, and this keeps it safe. And they, they should always done that from the get go. You do have your locking. Uh, I have those inside these tie downs, and I'll show you those here in just a second. Nice, real pretty chrome bumper. It does have, um, of course, that heavy duty uh, tow package that's on there. There's your little ghost for the 6.7 power stroke diesel. All right, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. It does have your tow hooks in the front too. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and pop it open and look inside. Love rubber floor mats on a truck. I mean, especially these heavy-duty trucks because if you're buying one, you're probably going to be doing some stuff with it. And why do you want carpet that's going to get wet and dirty, right? Uh, vinyl's great because you can wipe it out. It keeps the vehicle looking fresh and wonderful. Um, so uh, it does have your power doors, um, power mirrors on both sides. The um, seat, you can fold it there. Has a little, I like the back ends of these. They actually have quite a bit of room back there. It's kind of hard to show you within the this picture. There you go, so I can show you. Um, but they do have a, quite a bit of decent room back here, you know? So you can put some stuff if you want back there behind. I have a regular farm truck myself, regular cab. So I know all about sticking stuff back here. We're gonna step up in here. I'm gonna show you the cameras and, and whatnot. I took this off just for the time being so you can actually see the screen okay um and uh, like i said this is really built the way that they should have been done integrated brake controller um has your four-wheel drive all your auxiliary which comes standard in these heavy duty trucks um nice big bin box there i'm gonna fold it up so you can see it underneath here too i'm gonna go flip this out for you okay so you've got another bin that's stand underneath here you can put stuff in. Most people don't even know that's there, so it's actually a really good place. If you're wanting to store some stuff, you can do that. Uh, more dual things. These are actually two different bin boxes here, too. Okay, you got one down here, and then you have one that's up here at the top. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's got 35 miles on it. It's not been used. Come up here, you got your media and whatnot. You can't, you have a USB port, so you can use your own music. You got Bluetooth on here as well. All right, now I'm gonna show you these cameras real quick. So, you've got your standard backup camera there. Right now, let me go ahead and shut the door. You're gonna to get to hear that this whole time. You've got the standard camera. You can drop it down. So if you do happen to have a hitch there on the bottom, you can use that. 
all right? Then you've got the one that's here in the bed, all right? So if you're lining up to that, you can line right there. I love this. I love that one right there. So, but yeah, you can use either one um, as you see fit. That's the one for the ground, okay? So, uh, if you have any questions on options or whatnot, uh, just give me a call and I'll definitely go everything with you.